Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eastern Nut and we are here with Ghost of a Tail. We um, took care of Silas last time. He was a little um, sad, a little drunk, I might even say. Um, so now he's sleeping. We have some time to kill. Can you jump? Um, so we're going to go turn in a bunch of stuff to the commander who probably is at the harbor, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, we will waste no time in going to see him, because why else would we do anything but hurry? Just kidding. I love doing anything but hurrying. Um, a dilly dallyin. Get out of my way, you stupid butt munch. Sorry. This whole game would be so much easier if none of the rats were here, but then it wouldn't be a game. It would just be a walking simulator. Which isn't exactly fun, but you know. If he's in his office for once instead of at the harbor... Because remember earlier, he said he's usually at the harbor like in the mornings, I thought. Unless I'm remembering that wrong. And then he said he was at the harbor later in the day. Whoopsies. Either way, we do also have two costume pieces left to find and one key, so that's exciting. We actually, there's technically a third costume, but I can't get it till I find all the urns, which is kind of kept behind the main quest line, so that'll, that just doesn't count. I will get there eventually. As far as the hidden um, costume pieces, we have two left. We have one for the thief and one for the king. No! He's not here. Frick. Okay, well. We shall scurry back. Watch in the time it takes me to scurry back. Um, I miss him. And he's here. And then I have to just keep running back and forth forever. That'd be sad. But such is life. I also wonder, does he just pop up? Or like, if I'm careful and I time it right. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. Um, if I time it right, could I, like, see him coming down here? I really don't think so. I think he just pops up, kind of like Rolo does on the shore. But it'd be kind of fun to, like, see him walking through the prison. I actually want to check what quest we're technically on. Silas's tail. Okay. We're getting there. It's exciting and scary at the same time. Look at all the things we've completed. Look at all the stuff. Look at it. And all its beauty. But we'll try to hurry so that I don't miss him. <laughs> Got stuff in my eye. My nose is itchy. Oh, I'm a mess. Might mess around and try to burn that one some more just because it's freaking hilarious that it is so just out of the way above a door that I can't actually get to. I gotta talk to this idiot. You again, I need to speak with the commander. He's about to have his nap. Lame. I wish I could have a nap. Standing over there like a Shakespeare character. He has a harp now. Oh, he's gonna have to... He's gonna... Bet you anything. I'm saying it now before I actually talk to him. He's gonna try to play something for us. Scal, this is rather embarrassing, but could you take a look at this? Gingerly offers up his tail for inspection. About a third of the way from its tip, you notice an ominous scarlet constriction, angry and inflamed. Ooh. 
Isn't that the thing that Faustus was talking about? The disease or infection? Is it serious? It, yeah, it looks like ringtail. My father suffers from it terribly. Perhaps I can find you some relief. Yeah, I could talk to Faustus. See what you can do. Um, I've discovered the identity of the five smugglers. I present the ovals. Excellent work. I'll have them arrested, tried, and executed before the week's out. Nice! Now, take this to the smithy. Perhaps there's more he can do for you. Thirteen banners have been burned. Thirteen? This is Great Burham all over again, Scow. A sign of things to come. Aye, it starts with burning banners and ends with the mob at the gates and the garrison in flames. It's that damned mouse, Scow. Remain silent. The one from the jail. He's behind us, I'm sure of it. I'll have Yuva send reinforcements. Ah! History will not repeat itself on my watch. Sorry, I've discovered the trident. I feel like I just need to turn all these in, but I fear that um, it's going to make my life a lot harder. But that's fine. I've discovered the true identity of the master. Not, hmm. Not a he, sir. You hand the ledger, he opens a book, and leaves through his pages. Uma, it's hard to believe, but there it is, written in her own hand. Thank you, I'll deal with this myself. Now, ooh, would you take this to the smithy? You know the drill by now. Of course, of course. Okay, so he gave me two things for Rolo. So I guess I'll do that and then go to Faustus. So we've still got a couple hours till Silas is awake. Ooh, that would be fun. That's my dogs. Barking, barking. And it's always when I'm home alone. When I'm the one responsible for my own freaking pets, they go crazy. But when my roommates take care of them so that I can record, they're perfectly fine. Or at least not as loud. But that's okay. Love them anyway. Oh, Rolo. I have two sets of orders. Hello. Morning. Anything you need? Um... I have orders from the commander, is that right? He said you'd know what to do with them. I'd like to tell him what to do with them. All right, so I can either work on your armor or teach you about these spider traps. Oh. What more can you do to my armor? I can make you a new chest plate, take some weight. Ooh, run without getting exhausted, nice. At least eight hours. I'm trying to think, what am I actually going to be doing? I have to talk to Faustus. And then I have to talk to Silas. I think I can get away without having the armor for this episode. Eight hours. Ugh. Hi, if you have time. Oh, I'll leave things as they are. Okay. So, okay, I guess... <sighs> well, now I have to sneak. Sneaky sneak. But that's okay. No armor run. Isn't that... Ha-ha. Well, make it work. What's eight hours? Seven o'clock, seven forty. Bet you anything, Faustus is going to ask us to collect stuff, though. What news have you of the outside world? Commander has ringtail. And what concert? Ooh. I thought you could use this time to perfect your cure, or don't you see this is a chance to confront your fear? I say perfect your cure. Don't push somebody who has a fear. That'll just make them not conquer it. Sigh, very well. Oh! Give this to the commander it to be applied twice daily. 
Let me know if there are any side effects. I don't know if I should tell him stuff or if that's going to make him leave. Mm. Sir, the jailer is dead. Ah, uh, I might as well. Murdered? No more than he deserved. Wow. Commander has issued a warning the master will surely have fled by now. Might as well. Fled, and that means... No. The cab cabal? Cabal? Has too long a reach. It's best I stay here for now. Okay, well, have fun with that. Cool. Well, I have stuff for the commander, but I can't go turn it in until I have my armor back, so sticking with the uh, no armor run. Yoink. I wonder if I could go try to find the last piece. No, the last thief costume thing has, it's in the harbor, and I think I need to be in my costume, my armor, to really do it appropriately. But I am, dang it, I think I need to wait. It's only noon, they're not going to be asleep. Don't spit. Yeah, okay, so I will have to wait to see if I can get the spyglass without my armor. I could go sleep. That's what I can do. So I'm going to go sleep until Silas is up, which is only like four more hours. It's actually probably less than that. It's probably like two hours. Oh, but Silas is there. I don't think I could sleep if Silas is in his own bed. Shoot. Ugh. Everything's difficult. I'll just go hang out with Silas then. Up in the distance. I also wish um, that it gave you like a countdown. Like, you have this many more hours. Excuse me, Silas. Wake up. Wake up. Well, I do want to try to burn this one. I don't know why it was being so weird last time. It said I was being watched. I love that giant skull. I want to know where they got a giant mouse slash rat skull from. That's the kind of lore they need to be delving into. Okay, so. I think. He goes far enough away. Ah. 
I'm just gonna goop off. I'm gonna run around. Ah, dang it. Ah! Spun me around. I was trying to, like, see if I could jump onto that bit of rubble, get somewhere with that, but I guess not. So we'll just continue to be dumb. <gasps> oh my god. Almost fell off. This is what happens when I have nothing to do. I end up doing really dumb stuff. <laughs> and we're back over here to this little place. I'm gonna just sleep for an I don't know how to change it. I need to remember. Yeah, there we go. And take more candles. Oh, and the smithy's done. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. But, I mean, I guess it works. I'll just call this and then go back up to Silas. And then I'll go get my armor. <sighs> I love this that I can take this instead of having to go all the way through the castle. It's so nice. Or prison. It looks like a castle, though. It is built like a castle. So is Silas in his room? Let's figure out why Silas was sad. Let's hope it doesn't make us sad. Silas, my man! Hello! Tilo! Good afternoon! Tilo! That's my name. Um, how are you feeling? Awful. I've not been that soused, soused. Someone needs to tell me how to pronounce it, because I will just keep saying it either way. Since, well, you made the tonic, the cook, so much appreciated. I've been looking out for your scaps. I think they've taken a liking to you. Give me... I should go, Tilo, in the commissary. I said some things I shouldn't have. What was it? Uh, well. Silas, why did you do that to yourself? A Murder of Crows, the song. I'm sure you must know it. Please sing it for me. Alright. A Murder- What if I accidentally clicked Heaven in a Bottle? Uh, clicked the wrong one. More music! Yay! Oh my god, that is the most ridiculous face. I love it. Oh, that's mean. And, heh, your version is tamer than the one I know. The pups in my village used to sing it. I remember I thought it was funny. I liked the way the words rhymed. I didn't realize they were singing it to me. Not until my Uma chased them off with her stick. Uh, 
Um, I don't understand. I was raised in a village in northern Meridia by mice. Oh, you were raised by mice. I was I not clear? The Lutka from your footlocker. My Uma is carved by her late husband. Oh. Your birth parents, what of them? Oh, I often wondered about them. Who are they? What became of them? Uma might have had some gray in her coat. Her memory wasn't what it once was, but she told me what she could. All the same, it wasn't enough. And then, on the day I left for Yuva, Silas opens his paw to reveal the finely engraved silver band he'd shown you at the that side. I don't want to say it because I say it wrong. Uma gave me the silver ring from your true mother. Oh, That must have been hard for your Uma to say. I was so angry with her for keeping it from me. I should have known it was for my own good. I don't understand. How did that first ring lead you here? It didn't. A few months before my discharge from the Rat Guard, I found a second silver ring. <gasps> Ooh. And you found others. The ring Gusto and Fatal stole. I have eight now, all told. Eight rings and this silver scroll case. Oh, so he thinks his family is, like, involved in what's going on. The scroll case, the puzzle, what was it you found in there? A message from my father. <gasps> Intrigue. Rat hands you a scroll of parchment, brittle with age. Here, read it. Okay. Okay. Um, prayer scroll. Master of the Salamander, I offer you this ring, relic of noble kings of old. May you accept it and tribute to your grace and as a promise to return what I have took this day. Warden of the flame, guardian of lost hope, grant me courage to preserve and strength enough to prevail for my kingdom, my kind, for Brindis, my one true love, and Silas, my firstborn son. Aww. Well, he's his firstborn, not only, so does Silas have siblings? That is a question for possibly later. R. Um, so his dad's name starts with an R and his mom's name is Brindis. At least I'm assuming. Maybe his one true love is not Silas's mother. <gasps> More intrigue. Well, Tila, what say you? Ooh, I don't know if there's a right answer here. There's something I don't understand. I'm thinking... Something I don't understand about the rings? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, what's that? How did you find it? Yeah, the second ring, how did you find it? Where? It's not a short tale. Are you sure you want to hear it? Oof, how long is long? All right. I was assigned to a convoy escorting the Baroness from Pesa to the capital. On the fourth night, we made camp at Temple of Karam. The Guardian of Travelers. I was ordered to escort the Baroness to the reliquary so she could offer Karam her prayers. And that was where he found the second ring? That's right. A ring almost identical to my mother's hung on a chain around Karam's neck. You said the two rings were almost identical. The design engraved on the second ring was different. It made me wonder if there weren't more of them waiting to be found. And so there were. It's hard to believe. Look, I'm not one for superstition, but there it is. In time, I learned that other rings have been discovered in tombs and temples of the Wardens of the Green Flame. Some have been stolen, some lost. It's taken me years to track them down. Why are these rings so important? They're the famed tail rings of the Rat Kings, a record of succession going back to the time of the Green Flame. I never understood their significance, why they'd been left with the Wardens of the Green Flame. Those are the ones that, like, 
I went and lit all the flames for her. Maybe Dwinlin, Karam, Jarlon, and Nikto. Not until I open the scroll case you found. I think I understand well enough. All right. The message is from your father. I. It's a. Pr I don't understand. You mean? I don't know what I need to be t asking him. I don't understand. You mean I? My father was Raj. Oh. That's what R stands for. My father was Roderick the Last Rat King. <gasps> oh. Look at all the things that just unlocked. This whole episode is just going to be me asking Silas questions because I can't help myself. This is why you were soused your Roderick's son, but that makes you a prince. I understand now why your mother hid you away. What was it your father took from the tombs? What now? You're Roderick's son, but that makes you a prince. No, no, it makes me the son of a coward. Oh. Only 30 years ago. Oh, I understand now why your mother hid you away. You don't really believe that, do you? The barons would have me had would have had me killed, I know. What was it your father took from the tombs? I'm guessing it's the singing stones that they talked about in the little footnote, which hopefully my webcam overlay did not lock. Whatever it was, he swore to return it. I guess he didn't keep his word. Will you keep searching for your father's treasure? Why I found what I was looking for. What now would you reclaim your throne? My throne, ha, huh? the mongrel son of the coward king. I'm sure the barons would gladly give up their power to so noble an heir. Besides, the singing stone is lost. I think I understand. Because this thing, it says I have to keep talking to him until he talks about a magpie. So I'm going to just keep doing new ones. So about your early years. How did you come to join the Rat Guard? On the day I became a buck, I received conscription papers from the Red Paw. I won't lie, the first few months weren't easy. My accent didn't help. Accent? I don't hear it. I worked hard to lose it. It doesn't pay to stand out around here. That's why you can speak whatever. It's my native tongue. Do you still keep in touch with Uma? In touch with Uma, she's gone some years now. I just couldn't yet bring myself to blacken her. Oh! Oh, that's why. So I guess when someone dies, you burn or paint their Lutka, maybe it says. Made in wood or stone, stained with lime to represent the living and ash to commemorate the dead. So that's why my son's, that's how he knew my son was dead, is because it was black. I don't think that's appropriate, boys. Uh, so as a pup, you didn't know you were a rat? I was a bit slow back then. What do you mean, back then? He's already hurting. Why would we roast him? You were just a pup. I was already a good head taller than the other pups, and stronger too. Well, what is it they say? Rat pups grow fast, and mice pups grow quick. <laughs> nice. Alright. I wonder... Oh, do I still have things? I guess I just need to, like, click through everything. I don't understand about the rings. You're dis from tr discharged from the Rat Guard. Why? I'd served five years. My time was almost up. Well, soldier soldiering somehow came easy to me. It was something I was good at, so I re-enlisted. Besides, the Red Paw has access to places civilians can't go. It's how I found the second ring. I think I understand. Oh, I wonder about your birth parents. This was fun, but now it's just a lot. Do you remember anything of your birth mother? Just vague impressions, and a lullaby she used to sing. May I hear it? I'm not much of a voice, but... More songs!
Nice. It's very beautiful. Why do they give me options to be just flat out rude to Silas? Like mother by all accounts. Your mother, who was she to your Uma? Oh my gosh. Sorry, I can hear them in the background. I don't know if it's picking up on the mic. Uma had been my mother's nursemaid years before. She told me mother was a doe of great piety. What became of your birth mother? Who can say? I don't even know her full name. How did you come to be in your Uma's care? I'm guessing the mom left him with Uma. Unannounced and in a panic, she begged Uma to take me in. I would have been no more than a few weeks old. It was the last time Uma saw her. Aw. I wonder about your birth parents. Oh. That's why you were soused, soused, wouldn't you be? Silas's tail sparked something in you. You hum to yourself the first few notes of a new lay, the ballad of the orphan prince. Well, now that's enough about me, don't you think? How goes it with you? Mara wasn't aboard the ship. She'd given up her place to another. You might have said something about it in the commissary. Do you know the name of the doe who took Mara's place? Uh, Pharaoh. Did you get her family name? No, but she had a son named Tam. Tamlin, does that help? No, it's not enough. I can't send out a scap without the full name. Shoot! Else you was going to start asking questions. What about the ship the doe is meant to be on? It was the Rathskellin. Tylo, will you fetch, fetch my log book? It's on the table downstairs. Do I already have it? I don't think I have it. Ah! Unless maybe I do. Yep. Yeah, I guess maybe I do already have it. That's odd. Here's your logbook. All right, let's see. Opens the log and runs a claw down the page. Here, part of a general news dispatch received on the 13th. Go on. Tilo, the rascal was reported lost in the cloak of Paraclave. I don't want to play anymore if my wife's dead. I don't believe it. I can't. Should I read you the entire message? Sure. Would you? I need to hear it. Listen. On the 12th day... The Raskelin, crewed by nine, laden with sundries and carrying 27 prisoners, was reported late by harbor master at Arondis. The vessel was last seen by the bosun of the Emerald Hind, off course and heading into the cloak of Paraclave, and so is pronounced lost. I know you don't want to hear it, but Mara's gone. She's still alive, I'm sure of it. Even if she were alive, there's no way for us to trace Mara now. You may as well ask a magpie. I think I know where to find one. Take that, Silas. You're going to get yourself killed. Besides, magpies will only speak with noble creatures and kings. Oh my gosh, my boys. Barky, barky boys. Anything less is a meal. Then I shall become a king. Here then, I got the tunic. Which means I have everything else I need. Way to go, me. Now I just have the thief's costume. Um, so that's nice. Thank you, it is truly beautiful. I hope you make a worthier king than he ever was. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna go back down, get my armor from... Well, actually, first... Um, because this is the only other costume I have the entire piece for. Oh, it looks so cute! Look at me! Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm adorable. Alright, well, we're gonna go get my armor from the blacksmith. I need to save. Holy shit. I haven't saved this whole, like, time that I've been on. If 
Okay. He's coming back up. No, he's going back down. Hi, Azzy. Are you just going to lay outside the door like a bump on a log? Okay, well. Save in the empty barrel. Gosh, 18. 18 episodes. I legitimately thought this was going to be another short one like Stray. I don't know why I assumed that. <laughs> Um, how goes it with my armor? Just finished. This is as good as it's going to get. Anything else? Nope, I'm good. All right, so I'm going to go talk to... Oh. Can I change over here? Is that far enough away? All right, I'm going to go talk to the commander. Oh, I do run pretty well. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully he's still here, otherwise I will be sad. Out of my way! Gotta stop hunching forward. I got the nice gaming chair, I need to use the nice gaming chair. Can I help you? I need to speak with him. I can make this work. Oh, I can run fast enough. I can do this. I can do this. Down. So yeah, I'll go talk to the commander, give him his potion. And then I can just ride the elevator back up, talk to the magpie. And then keep on keeping on, basically. Oh, look at how few quests I have. This is nice, though, that um, I can run a lot faster. Remember the days when I walked and waddled like a little baby? Is he here? Is he here? Did I miss him? Is he here? Commander! Yes! Don't go anywhere. Stay, 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 stay. What can I do? Here's the ointment. Wonderful. Give it here. Oh, bless you, Scow. You're one of the good ones. Now, take these. It's the least I can do. I should get on with your permission. You're dismissed. Okay. He said that's all he could do, so I don't think I can actually get better armor. I think it's it's done. And I'm not I'm not going to learn anything from the spider traps unless I don't think I'm going to learn anything about the spider traps, so we're just going to deal with that. I did not mean to do that. Um shoot. I'm actually going to probably do something else. The last piece of the thief costume is over here, and it says it's accessible by jumping off a bridge, which makes me think it's the bridge over here. This one. If not, I don't know what other bridge there is. Oh. Holy shiitake mushrooms. This is terrifying. Barrel. Like, is there another bridge? Oh. 
probably means that one. Shoot! Which means I have to go back across! I'm gonna save though, because if I accidentally fall off of here, I'm gonna be sad. It's like I have to get into this very specific spot for him to pass. He oink. Okay. Luckily, I think I can just go up the stairs in here. And if it's not there, uh, then I'll have to look it up, which is how I do everything. That's just down there. I think I need to keep going. Unless... Oh! Terrifying! chest yes so I have the thief's tunic which means I have all of the armor or all the costumes that I can get um, without continuing the main quest line which is just absolutely superb so yeah I guess that's what they mean by jump off a bridge is not actually legit, like, jump off of a bridge. I mean, you could have, but you did not have to. Now this is the scary part, is getting back. Because I don't want to die. There we go. Whew! A little heart pounding out of my chest there. All right, uh, well, we're going to call that an episode. Um, we get to see the magpie next time and actually interact with it, which is amazing. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, glad that we got to accomplish so much. We're getting to the end, I think, which is sad, but also very exciting. Um, so I will see you in the next episode for more Ghost of a Tale.